Hey guys, happy Saturday. It's Connor here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far and are having a great start your weekend. If you have any fun plans going on, definitely let me know down below in the comments. Um, if you can hear some lawnmowers going on outside, the yard workers are here. So um, yeah, super fun. They lined up just in time with my filming here. Um, anyways, though, welcome back. It is time for another edition of the Weekly Wax Chat, which is a video that I like to do most weekends where I go through everything that I have been using in home fragrance for the last week. So we discuss what candles I've been burning, what wax melts have I been warming. We talk about what's in my Crocs and under my lamps. We basically just talk about home fragrance for 20 minutes. So that is what we are doing again today. Um, as always, definitely check out the description box for a lot of good links and details and information. Um, if you're new to any of the products that I'm about to mention for my candle lamps and candle crocs and hurricanes, I have videos down below all about those uh, products, I guess, that I use in home fragrance weekly. So um, if you are newer or you maybe just need a refresher, you can definitely refer back to those videos. Um, I will also link down below any Thing that I talk about today, if it's available, I will link it as well as if I have a review, I will also link that. So um, always check out the description box. I always leave a ton of good stuff down there. So if you have any questions, check there first, but then definitely let me know in the comments if you um, have any more additional questions. But um, yeah, definitely check that out. Let's get right into it though. All right, so what am I currently burning? I am burning three candles right now. They're all three from Homeworks. I feel like I've been doing a lot of Homeworks lately. So we're burning some more Homeworks. Um, first up right here behind me in the entryway, I've got Homeworks Tiramisu. Um, I did do a review of this one. Um, unfortunately, it is extremely light. I can barely smell it. I actually can't even really smell it right now sitting here. Um, this one I did review, so definitely check that out. Um, love the scent. It smells like an authentic tiramisu. I get the lady fingers, the whipped mascarpone, the uh, cocoa, and the coffee beans, but I just really can't smell it that well. It's a very light scent, which is unfortunate because it's just such a lovely gourmand fragrance, but um, it's extremely light. So I can't really, um, you know, refer that one to you guys, but um, if you enjoy lighter scents, maybe, um, then you might enjoy that one. But um, I'm currently burning that right now. I'm about at the uh, halfway point. I'm like right here. So um, I am trying to get this one finished up this weekend. Um, I actually maybe should put that under my lamp and see if it does any better. Um, sometimes when I put um, a candle that's burning, that's really light into either a crock or a lamp. The strength and throw does increase at times. Um, I think really part of that is because you're melting the whole thing completely at once versus like when you're burning, you just, you know, you're burning a little bit at a time. So um, I might try that under, but I do actually have something under my lamp already. So um, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, what else is burning? I have Homeworks Sticky Bread Pudding going right in front of me here in the living room. I love this sticky bread pudding. It is a really, really delicious scent. It smells like um, caramel, vanilla, um, the bread. I really love it. I'm honestly not a huge like bread, bread pudding type person. Like I don't love that. I don't, I don't even know. I've had it once in my lifetime, I think, but I've not, it's not like something we regularly eat, but the scent is delicious. It is really, really nice. I was a little bit nervous because it did have the caramel note, but it turns out it's a really great scent. It's really nice and it actually does really well in there. Um, that one is actually really nice for strength and throw. So it's just funny. I feel like I've talked a lot about the inconsistencies with Homeworks and it's obviously very clear. I have great performers and then I have ones that I can barely smell. So there's definitely um, some inconsistency there. Um, and then in the kitchen, I am also burning another Homeworks candle, which is the um, cinnamon peach latte. That is currently going in the kitchen. I love that scent. It actually just got here a few days ago. Um, that one was sent in Homeworks uh, or in PR by Homeworks. They were actually all three sent in PR, by the way. Uh, but that one, it was sent in PR. I love the scent. It is so delicious. It smells like a peach um, latte. Like that's what it smells like. It's really delicious. Um, if you remember back in the spring, country Kringle candles 
pe sweet peach, I think was what it was called. It smells very, very similar to that. It's kind of like that peach with a creaminess to it. This time in here, it's a latte and the sweet peach, I think was more like a peach, like oatmeal, but um, this one smells like a peach latte with a hint of spice on it. It's really, really yummy. So I will be reviewing that one, I think on Monday. So stay tuned for that. And that one is actually doing really great for strength and throw. Burn is doing well, strength and throw is great. So yeah, it's doing great. Um, there's definitely some inconsistencies. I wish they could have more consistency, but um, at least I am seeing some improvement on some things. So um, yeah, that is what is currently burning, those three candles. Um, what is currently going in my crock right now? I have, I actually still have the same thing that it was in it last week, which is the Kringle Trick or Treat from the Halloween collection. That one is a really great scent. I didn't put it in the crock because it had any issues. I put it in there because I just love the fragrance and I wanted to prolong how long um, I would have to smell that. So with a crock, you are melting the candle. So the wax doesn't go away, but the fragrance does. So um, it lasts a little bit longer than if you were to burn the candle. And so sometimes, um, obviously a crock is great for candles that don't perform well, but sometimes even if it does perform well, I'll just throw a candle in there um, either to finish it quickly or just to enjoy it better. Um, it really just depends what mood I'm in. But for right now, I'm melting that one because I love the scent. It's uh, very similar to Bath & Body Works Autumn. I would actually say it's a complete dupe. Um, it's a really great scent. It's kind of like that apple woodsy scent. It's really, really nice. So that is currently going in there and it's still going strong. Um, I think it's definitely dying out a little bit, but it's still smelling up the room that it's in. So it's been in there for almost a week and a half now. So I'll probably change it out after uh, this weekend and put something else in there, but that's currently still going in there. And then under the lamp, I did move the grandma's gingerbread from Homeworks. Uh, I did put that one under the lamp. If you saw the review yesterday, you know that that one had a couple of issues with that. Um, it had not only puny wicks, but it also just had very light strength and throw. So it's doing much better in there. Um, obviously, I don't have to worry about burning it. So the puny wicks are no longer an issue. Um, and then because of the puny wicks, the strength and throw was really light. So um, the strength and throw is doing much better. So I'm finishing that one under there. And then since it was on QVC, that one was a part of the Christmas in July TSV. Um, since it was on QVC, I had to get two of them because it came in a set. So I think um, if I don't give this the other one to someone, because I'm thinking about maybe gifting that one, but if I don't, then I think I'll probably just lamp that one from the start. So um, yeah, it goes back to the whole consistency conversation because I've seen some people say that theirs performed great. They had no issues. So I'm not really sure, um, but it's a it's an okay scent i don't love ginger red scent so it's a little bit hard for me to enjoy that one but it's not a bad one um and it's doing much better under the lamp so that is how i'm finishing that one and um yeah that is currently what has been burning and what is uh under the crock and lamp let's get into the other stuff that i was burning this week because i do have a lot over here all right so let's start with the uh other homeworks candle that i have over here that i haven't talked about this is the only other one uh christmas morning this is uh here's the label this one is a stunning label i love this candle just for the label um it's a really beautiful label the scent itself is not my favorite honestly um the notes on here are rich apple butter cinnamon sugar warm apple brandy and buttered vanilla um now, while I really, really do like the apple that's in here, I don't like the brandy, and I do feel like I get a lot of the booziness in here, and it kind of ruins it for me. Um, it's not a bad scent. I can, I don't have to burn this one on my back porch like I do with some of the Halloween ones, but it's just not really my favorite scent. Um, so it's going to be one and done for me. I actually was sent this one in PR last year when this released on QVC, I was actually on a wait list to get it. Um, and I'm actually glad now that I didn't end up being able to get it because I don't really love the scent. Um, yeah, it's just not my favorite. Um, performance is kind of right on par with a lot of the other homeworks candles. Um, the burn's doing great, but the strength and throw is kind of like right in that like sixes range. Um, it actually does do nice for strength and throw, I would say. Um, the wicks are very big on this one. They have those bigger, th uh, thick rope-like wicks, which I don't mind those because I 
because I would much rather have those than the puny wicks like on the grandma's gingerbread, but you do have to be careful with these. Um, these are the ones that I can't let burn for too long and I really do have to like make sure I trim them after each burn and I'm just putting them up straight after each burn. So um, yeah, overall this scent is kind of sad for me because I love the label and I really feel like he could have done something different with this. Like Christmas morning could have been a beautiful tree scent and I totally get it that a lot of you probably love this and Christmas morning means something different to everyone but just for me I didn't love the scent so that is Christmas morning I will continue to burn this and hopefully we'll finish it up uh next week um okay that is it for homeworks let's do bath and body works so I did review cinnamon sugared pecans yesterday I will link it if you missed it this is a really really delicious scent um this is not a new scent it actually released a few years ago but I had never tried it and so I'm on a mission to only really pick up things that I either haven't tried before and want to review or things that are new and so this was one that I hadn't tried and I wanted to review it so I picked it up and I love it it is a uh, warm cinnamon toasted pecans and brown sugar and that is exactly what this smells like it is like a pecan uh roasted in a cinnamon sugar coating with butter that's exactly what this smells like it's really really delicious it reminds me a lot of the little nut stands at the mall during the holidays it really does smell like you're walking past one of those you just get that toasted pecan the cinnamon sugar the butter it's really really yummy so this one is smelling amazing it's also burning great um i've had no issues whatsoever amazing burn on this one which is pretty rare for a bath and body works candle um they normally get puny wicks or soot or do something at the midway point but this one has had none of those issues so far so um, I'm really really happy about that and I'm hoping it continues to burn that way because if it does then I'll be able to uh, finish this one to the bottom so I've been burning that um, another Bath and Body Works that I've been burning I did pull out a peppermint sugar cookie now I said I didn't want to burn any peppermint until December because I'm trying to ease into the holiday scents I'm not trying to do any tree scents or any peppermint scents yet but I did want to pull this one out just because I have a couple backups of it and I do love it for the holidays and it kind of worked well with a few, with a few of the other scents that I worked uh, that I was burning so um, this one it's so delicious. This is um, crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. And it smells like a peppermint sugar cookie. It's so delicious. Um, I love this one. It is definitely one of my favorites from Bath & Body Works during the holiday time. It's definitely a sweeter peppermint. You get that sugar cookie smell to it truly. Um, it's really delicious. It's just so yummy. So that is a peppermint sugar cookie and I was burning that. So far, no issues. I only burned it a couple of times as you can tell. Um, definitely not a lot, but um, the burn so far has been doing good. So yeah, good strength and throw on this one. This one always does nice for strength and throw for me. Um, so yeah, love that one. Um, that's it for Bath & Body Works. Um, let's talk some Kringle. I only have one Kringle from this week actually, which is Holiday Cookies. Um, this is one that I pulled out from my backup stash. This is not a new scent. I actually believe they might have discontinued this one, um, but it's a really delicious cookie scent. That's all I can tell you. Um, this is so yummy. You can definitely search back on my YouTube channel for a review of this one and the peppermint sugar cookie. But, um, yeah, I love this scent. It is just like a basic baked cookie. Um, it smells just like that label, but it's just a really yummy scent. Um, medium strength and throw, kind of on the lighter side, but I kind of have to, you know, expect that with vanilla scents. Um, sometimes like those sugar cookie type scents don't like to throw very well or they're not very strong and so I wasn't expecting that one to uh do super well I was actually mixing it with the peppermint sugar cookie and they made a really nice blend and that peppermint sugar cookie liked uh kind of like pulled it in with each other so it kind of helped that one but um yeah those are a great blend um some Yankee I was burning the new marshmallow eggnog here this is a new scent for holiday uh this year at Yankee this is a really delicious um like marshmallow eggnog type scent it's funny some people were saying that this one smells like it has a perfumey note I do not get any perfuminess from this one whatsoever this smells like a really nice creamy milk vanilla sugar with marshmallow that's what it smells like to me I love it it's a really delicious like eggnog scent with the marshmallow 
I don't get any perfuminess at all. So I would say before judging this, try and um, either get in store and smell it, or if you can get uh, one of the little minis and get it shipped to your house if you don't have a store near you and try and smell it because I really don't get any perfuminess. I smell sweet marshmallow with vanilla, sugar, and like a milkiness. Um, it's a really nice eggnog scent. I really like this one. So that is the uh, marshmallow eggnog. Um, the burn is doing pretty good. The wicks are actually getting a little puny on this one. I feel like with these signature candles, the wicks like to kind of get a little bit puny through the middle. And I really only noticed it on this style. I don't notice it as much with the tumblers. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Cause if I'm right, these are the exact same as the tumblers. So I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, it's still, it's still burning pretty nicely for me. That one is definitely like a medium, kind of on the lighter side. Again, vanillas don't always do that well. Um, they normally don't. So I wasn't expecting that one to throw that strongly, but um, it's a really delicious scent. Um, I was burning this. This is um, an anthropology candle. This is the sweet pumpkin and vanilla. Yeah, pumpkin and sweet vanilla. Um, I have been burning this. I actually am at the halfway point now and I love this scent. This is a really delicious fall scent. I have not yet reviewed this, so I think I'm going to review this on Monday. Um, this was a splurge candle. This was $64, but it's a really delicious scent and I think it's worth it. So actually that's a spoiler to the review. I was going to say if I think it's worth it or not. I do really think that this is worth it. Not only is it a beautiful vessel, it's also nice performance. I mean, I've had no issues at all, minus a little bit of sootiness, which I feel like these anthropology candles do like to soot just a little bit. Um, but other than that, this has a really nice strength of throw and it fills up the entire downstairs, which I would expect from a $70 candle, almost $70 candle. Um, I would expect that. So really, really love this scent and I've been burning this. So expect a review of this one coming on uh, Monday. How many ounces is this? I think that this one is 24 maybe. Uh, does it say it? I don't see where it says it. But um, I think this is like 24 maybe. But that is a great scent. And then the last one, I've been burning a Nest candle. Now this is uh, the new Nest. This is called Amber and Incense. I picked this one up at a local boutique and I love this one. This is a new one. I do need to review this. Uh, it's a great scent. It's kind of like a muskier, kind of earthier scent. It's really, really interesting i will definitely have to review so i don't want to give too much away but i have been burning this um i actually started it last night and i've only gotten one burn out of this but so far it's a really really nice scent so um expect a review of this one coming soon and that is all of the candles there uh let's talk about wax melts um there's not a ton of wax melts in here just a couple I honestly haven't been doing a ton of wax melts because I'm kind of like burning a lot of different things. And so sometimes when I don't really know what to burn, I don't really know what to melt either because I'm just burning so many different things. So I've just been kind of finishing up some fall melts. Um, I did some Sensationals Leaf and Latte, Leaves and Lattes. Um, this is a really nice scent. It's kind of like a leaves latte. Like I, that's literally what it smells like. It smells like uh, leaves and kind of like a creaminess from that latte. The actual uh, scents are smoked vanilla and mahogany. It definitely does have vanilla. I think that's where I'm getting that creaminess. And then it's definitely a little bit more earthy, um, kind of like a smokier scent. So this one is really nice. Um, some Yankee Candle Spiced Pumpkin. I loved Spiced Pumpkin. This is just a really delicious basic Spiced Pumpkin scent, but it smells like fall. So I love this one. And then also, um, I finished the last Autumn Reflections that I had from Kringle. This is a really delicious um, pumpkin scent. It's got a really nice nutty base to it. And actually, it pairs extremely well with the uh, Cinnamon Sugar Pecans. If you have both of these, burn this candle while you're melting this. Or this also comes in a candle, so you could burn them together. But this one has that same kind of like nutty base to it. So... It mixes really well with that. And um, this is just a really delicious scent. This, uh, this released last fall and I think it's still available. So um, it's a really, really nice scent. If you like the more nuttier, slightly earthy scents, and I think that you will definitely really like this Autumn Reflections. Uh, but yeah, that is it, you guys. That's 
all for this week. Uh, let me know down below in the comments what did you guys uh, use in home fragrance this week. I would love to know. Check out the description for a lot of good links and details and information. Um, but thank you all for watching. Please like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new here and enjoy your weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.